The Noctua NH-D15S is a modified variant of the well-known Noctua NH-D15 that increases the overall compatibility of the cooler with small 4-factor systems, such as Mini-ITX or Micro-ATX. One of the main differences between the regular NHD15 and the S version featured in this review is the usage of a single 140mm Noctua fan. The heatsink and heat pipes have also been changed, these ones having an asymmetrical layout and a slight offset. This is done to gain more space for the PCIe slots of the motherboard as well as the RAM slots. The heatsink has a dual tower design and uses 45 aluminum fins per tower. The main change from the NHD15 model is the asymmetrical shape of the heat pipes and the position of the heatsink. The fins are made from untreated aluminum and thus the size of the heatsink are prone to fingerprints. Still speaking of the fins, in order to increase the space available for the RAM slots and VRM heatsinks of the motherboard, the lower 7 fins of the heatsinks are shorter. This is done on both towers of the cooler and in equal measure to maintain the symmetry of the heatsink. Just like the NHD15, the S variant uses 6 nickel plated copper heat pipes to transfer the heat away from the CPU surface. The heat pipes themselves have an outer diameter of 6mm each and are arranged in the traditional U shape. The base plate is soldered to the heat pipes while an additional plate is placed over the heat pipes to create a sturdy assembly. The base of the cooler is made from a single nickel plated copper piece. The surface is polished to an almost mirror-like reflection. Circular grooves are present from the manufacturing process, however, they are shallow enough to not cause any air bubbles when the thermal compound is applied over the CPU area. The fan used with the NHD15S is the well-known Noctua NF-A15 PWM. This is a 140mm fan that is found on many high-end Noctua CPU coolers, thanks to its 120mm mounting spacing and of course numerous other improvements. This fan also uses the second generation of the SSO Noctua bearing system with improved reliability and stability. This fan also has the usual Noctua features that we all like, rubber pads on both sides of all four corners of the frame to absorb any vibrations generated by the motor and blade assembly and of course the PWM function with a fully sleeved 4-pin Molex connector for the power. Once installed into a full ATX system and a regular sized motherboard, we can see how much the changes made improved the overall compatibility and space offered by the cooler. While the regular NHD15 would fully cover all four RAM slots of the motherboard, the S variant is barely covering half of the first slot. The PCIe expansion slot compatibility is also improved thanks to the offset in the heatsink's positions and the slight change of the heat pipe's shape. These are small changes that improved an already great CPU cooler, now making it compatible with smaller systems and components that require more space. And now we can move on with the performance of this modified NHD15 and compare it with the regular NHD15 and of course other coolers. At full load and with an ambient temperature of 26 degrees Celsius, a temperature that you will have in a hot summer day, the NHD15S version is only 2 degrees Celsius warmer than the fully fledged NHD15, doing so with one less fan installed. In terms of the sound, it is exactly as you would imagine. Given that this cooler has just a single 140mm fan, it will be quieter than the normal NHD15, which uses two fans. However, not by a lot. In fact, the differences between the normal NHD15 and the S version is just about 3 decibels, so pretty much unnoticeable to anyone. This small noise difference is of course thanks to the single fan already mentioned. However, Noctua also included an extra pair of metallic fan clips if you want to add another fan to the heatsink. This means that you can get the full NHD15 performance with better memory clearance and PCIe slot compatibility. Now let's talk about the mounting system. Pretty much it is one of the best on the market. In fact, to fully install this cooler on the CPU and boot the system to the desktop, I only needed 3 minutes from start to finish. That's how easy it is. Basically, you put the backplate on the back of the motherboard, plastic spacers on the motherboard, then the metallic arms over the spacers, screw those in, and put the cooler over the CPU and just gently tighten those two spring-loaded screws that are already attached to the heatsink. It is truly one of the best mounting systems I've ever worked with. In the end, what is the purpose of this slightly modified NHD15 cooler and why should we get it instead of the normal NHD15? Just like the mounting system, this answer is very simple because you want to have a good CPU cooler that has great compatibility with the expansion and RAM slots of the motherboard. And that's it. Of course, you also have the option of getting the S version and buying an extra fan later down the road and get the better performance with the added modifications that increase the clearance. To be completely honest, if I were to make a purchase right now, I'll just get the S version and one extra NF-A15 PWM fan to get that performance and compatibility. 